you probably remember uh, some months back on the Pure Drop, we had a man from the town of Bruska in the parish of Athey in County Limerick. And such was the impact he made on us, we really felt we had to ask him back again. And I'm glad to say he's here with us tonight. Would you welcome Con Graney? <laughs> and with Con comes a man whom he describes as his best friend. He's a singer, a musician, but I think he's better known as one of our leading poets. Would you welcome Gabriel Fitzmaurice, please? <laughs> Con, will you start us off with the verse of my cock crew? I will, of course. Why not? Good man. <coughs> sure, I feathered my cock and a dream of the tree. Sure, I love the cock and the cock love me. My hen cheeky cheek, my cock 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 cock, ah, my cocky crow. I sure never hen the love their cock, but poison and I love my cock too. I fed my cow in a green blood tree. I love the cow and the cow love me. My cow more, my hen cheeky cheek, my cock 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 cock, cock a crow. Ah, but never hen the love their cock, but poison and I love my cock too. I fed my sheep in a green. I love the sheep, and the sheep love me. My sheep, ma, my comb, my hen chick, the chick, my cock, 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 the crow. Ah, whatever he is, that love their cock, but my little tail of my cock, too. I fed my goat in a green blood tree. I love the goat, and the goat love me. My goat, middle of my sheep, ma, my comb, my hen chicky chick, my cock 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 cock, he crawl. Ah, but never a hen that love their cock, but my little day love my cock too. Oh, I fed my ass in a green blood field. Oh, I love the ass, and the ass love me. My ass prayer, my goat metal of my sheep, ma, my comb more. My hen chicky chick, my cock 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 cock, he crawl. Ah, but never a hen that love their cock, but by the little tail of my cock too. I fed my ass in a green blood field. I love the ass and the ass love me. My ass prayer, my goat middle of my sheep, ma, my comb more. My hen chicky chick, my cock 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 cock, he crawl. Ah, but never a hen that love their cock, but by the little tail of my cock too. I fed my heart in a green blood seal. I love the heart and the heart love me. My heart tattoo, my ass prayer, my goat middle of my sheep ma, my comb more. My hen chicky chick, my cock 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 cock, he crawl. Ah, but never a hen that love their cock, but by the little tail of my cock too. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Where did you get it? <laughs> I got it from a, a man by the name of Paddy Poe the he did know. Is that so? Poor man, we lost him in many of but... Was he a singer? Oh, he was, of course. And did you get many songs off him? I mean... Well, I got that one, I would look at it, get that one. Well, I'm sure well, I wouldn't yeah. get it at all now. <laughs> 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 I'll say one thing, you're in fair form for singing tonight. I'm good form tonight. What? Why, how do you account for that now? Huh? How do you account for the fact that you're in such good form tonight? Well, I tell you, I'm in good form when I have a bit drunk, and I'm in bad form when I'm without it. Is that so? So it's very important, is it? Or is it important to drink it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very honest, I welcome for when you're drinking. Is that so? Even the publican. <laughs> uh, they like to see you coming in the door. Do they? Oh, they do. Good man. Gabriel, talking about uh, Con here, where would you place Con in the overall spectrum of traditional singing? My opinion of Con is that he's utterly unique. Um, I've known Con now since 1975. Um, I don't know anybody who sings quite like him. I never heard anybody who sings quite like him. Uh, I think to place him in the context of, of singing, uh, he might be, uh, he's, he certainly is an acquired taste. I know that there are people who regard Khan's vivacity as a singer uh, as, as a difficulty to their, their hearing. But um, they hear the great verve of the man's singing and the great power. Uh, there's a tremendous subtlety in Khan singing. If, if you can just divorce for one moment and blank your mind out to the words and the great humour and the great pathos, 
and the great spirituality of the man singing. If you just watch clinically that musical line, that musical line is like Neely Mulligan or somebody would say it in the Piper Seamus Ennis. He's really a Piper singer, I think, in a way. Um, could I say that um, it takes, you know, maybe the European mind now is, 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 is ruined by Western harmony, plastic in the car, that um, a blank mind, a, a fresh mind, like my, I have a son, John, who is two years of age. Uh, the first time he heard a tape of Con Graney was last year, and he utterly enjoyed the experience. I don't know how much language he understood at the time, but really, uh, he utterly un understood it and appreciated it. So much so that now he swears that he's, and he's still just two, that his two favourite singers are Pavarotti and Con Graney. I've got a son. <laughs> 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 Con, uh, could you imagine Pavarotti singing my cock crew, could you? <laughs> Good huh? Would he course. make a good job of it, do you think? Oh, a great job. You reckon? A great job. <laughs> oh, God, he would, of course. Well, would you go out every night to sing a song, would you? No, I would, of course. Would you? I would, I'd go out most of my trip. I'd have no one at home, only a sheepdog. And she'd be next to me going out even. <laughs> 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 she'd be going out of me. Is that so? Yeah, that's it. And you'd be out and you'd... St eh? I know you were at a ramp party there a oh, while back and... Oh, very well. You gave it the full night? Oh, I gave it the full night and more of the had it. Is that so? And they started till half eight in the morning. Did you? I didn't know, and it was in Limerick and I met a few lads in Limerick too. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> and you sang all night? <coughs> oh, God, it, nothing better when I'm right drunk for the dinner, i sing good. Is that so? Yeah. Well, tell me now, we know you're not drunk tonight, but will you oh, sing us a... Uh, Will you give us a, uh, a verse of A Tinker I Am? Yeah, I don't, I'd much better I spot, but I will. Good man. I am. Where you going? <coughs> oh, a tinker I am, oh, a tinker am I. Uh, sure, a tinker I live, and a tinker I die. Uh, I met a poor farmer one bar harvest day. Uh, he was out in the meadow, he was saving the hair. He said, no, be lad, if you're not one to a job, uh, just give me a hand and I'll give you a bob. For a tinker I am, oh, a tinker am I. Uh, a tinker I live, and a tinker I die. Uh, and for work, I'm no use. So I bid him good day. I left the poor farmer save up his black hair. For a tinker I am, oh, I tinker am I. A tinker I live and a tinker I die. Uh, I strolled into a cottage behind the knot here. A bouncing young widow was making the tear. Have you wear an old saucepan, a kittle or pot? That you'll give me a drop and I'd start of the lot. For a tinker I am, oh, I tinker am I. My, uh, a tinker I live and a tinker I die. Uh, she made for the brush and she showed me the door. Uh, but Pat, I can tell you, I soon left her floor. For a tinker I am, oh, a tinker am my, uh, A tinker I live and a tinker I die. Uh, one time after that, as I crashed by the school, uh, where I used get charity, there is a rule. Since made and commotion, you never saw before. Uh, the had Irish and English and whackers galore For a tinker I am, oh, a tinker am I A tinker I live and a tinker I die The master came out, son, your son of a Turk Be going out of this, you're obstructing my work For a tinker I am, oh, a tinker am I A tinker I live and a tinker I die Sure, the fear of the kill, sure, I rode me old mare and all the poor tinkers from Limerick were there. I met an old pal at Fitzgibbon's door. And before that night, we were bought by galore. For a tinker I am, oh, a tinker am I. A tinker I live, and a tinker I die. The sergeant came up. And he locked us in jail. I got free board and lodges that night in the jail. For a tinker I am, oh, a tinker am I. Sure, a tinker I live, and a tinker I die. Sure, to the late in me life, when I thought to get wed. When cold frosty night, I felt cold and all bed. I went to hear rebels to get the job done. But first I can tell you, Father Fitz, is no fun. For a tinker I am, oh, a tinker am I. A tinker I live, and a tinker I die. He says his two pounds, 
spreo orgo di hell e giunti al boggi tu il giù giusto di well per a tinkerai am o a tinkerai mai a tinkerai libel a tinkerai in jail You're having a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, how long ago is it since you learned that song? Eh? How long ago is it since you learned that song? Since I learned that song? Yeah. Well, if I was as young as that today, I'd jump over that wall. Would you? <laughs> I would. And you're still learning songs, though, aren't you? I'm still learning them, of course, but I was young when I got that. Uh, the, behind in the... Uh, behind in poke I got that, too. Who did you get it off? I went back to see the puck up on the stage, you know. And he killed Arrigan. Fine puck. He dressed up with ribbons and everything. And he looked down at me a big moustache. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and who gave you the song? Yeah? Who gave you the song? Uh, he was a traveller. He sung that song three times for me at that time. Gave him a couple of questions. I told him keep singing away. And you didn't write it down? No, there was no idea that him. But uh, I'd, have to, I'd have to go back to a bit though. But that's him when you didn't write it down time. And how many times did he sing it for you until he you had it? He sang it three times and uh, I, I taught him. I'd give him another point now who told me I'm gone wrong. And I said, you'll have to sing it first. And I'd sing it. I sing two or three minutes. And I said, it was only the bit. And did you learn many of your songs from the travelling people? And I learned from everyone that I met, that everyone that I could. Thank you. You know, I learned songs from everyone. Gabriel, just talking there about Con, the range of songs he has in his <coughs> repertoire, it's, it's quite staggering, isn't it? It's an amazing repertoire. And um, first of all, from the point of view that there are American songs, English songs, Scottish songs, child ballads, all those things, local songs, that's first of all phenomenal. The second thing is that he learned most of, I know he said there now that he learned that song in Puck, but he, he didn't learn very many songs in Puck. Most of those songs Con learned within a radius of 15 miles of his own home. That'll just show you the tremendous richness of the tradition of Athe, Coricari, Kilcolm and Newcastle West. To this day there are musicians there, uh, younger men than Con, altogether my own age, that carry on that tradition. Uh, it's an extremely rich area. I suppose like areas produce their own genius and the genius of that area is music and Con is the, the genius par excellence of the whole area. Well, why is it then? Has it, uh, why has it taken so long for us to find out about Con Graney? Those of us who are supposed to be interested in traditional we music. We keep our secrets well enough, Kevin. You do, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> and that's one of the best kept secrets I've ever come across. But uh, seriously, though, do, is there a reason for that? Do you think? It's a, it's a happy series of coincidences that has brought Con to this pinnacle of his career in his 80th year. He's 80 years since New Year's Day. Uh, it's, it, we brought out a tape of, of Kerry songs of which Con featured on one track last May. Uh, from a crowd in, in, in Valley High called Ira. And uh, that created such interest that we brought out a tape of Con Graney's, a solo tape of Con's. But uh, at the same time, Con was singing in uh, Milton Malbay at the Singers Weekend, and that brought him to the attention of yourself and other people as well. And it's a happy uh, conjunction of, of, of circumstances that has brought him to this. I don't know why the secret was kept so well. Uh, I, I don't know. You can't keep secrets like Con Graney. Ultimately, it'll always come out. But it, struck, it strikes me, having uh, met you down in, in Kerry there uh, recently, Con, there were even some people in Kerry who hadn't heard Con. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. You see, uh, Con's, Con's beat, like, is, is Karakeri and Athe and Abda and Moivan. You know, his beat is small. He has no transport, of course, and mm. uh, uh, travel is, is part of the secret as well. Well, it doesn't keep you in anyway, Con. You're out uh, every night. Uh, Not having a car doesn't affect you. I sure if I had a car, I wouldn't be got to uh, this country at all. Would you not? <laughs> <laughs> You'd be straying all around the place, would you? I'd keep driving for the road to be there. Is that so? You know, oh. he was a young man, Paddy. His father used to call him the Rover. And he still is. Is that so? My father used to call me the Rover. Why? Or because they were never at home. That's While so. the fellow was sleeping. He had never any come to me, he said. And he, he made no mistake about that last person. He was right. Oh, he was right. Well, talking about the Rovers, is there any chance you'd sing as the youth who strayed from Midtown? Oh, very well, good. It's a, a bar of that. 
Oh, that week is the newspaper tells us uh, when an Irishman he sells away in hope of to seek for employment a thousand before in despair. He resolved to travel through England, uh, some labor to seek up or down, uh, but he never denied where he came from uh, or oh, from Kerry, a place called Milltown. Uh, oh, good morning, Pat, where are you bound for? Uh, or when did you? Land in our shore, and do you be along to those penans uh, we had here in the year 24? Uh, or says Pat, do not speak about penans, uh, our soldiers are brave Irish men, uh, and only for them in your army, sure, uh, battle he never would win. Uh, or just show me one game by honor, uh, or with the sword of the field he cut down. Uh, but remember, you are met the wrong hero. Says the young youth that stayed from his town. Uh, oh, Patter, you know, tell the speaking, uh, to give over right things in your time. Uh, we wanted a man from your country, uh, I think, to the year 29. Uh, whether right or wrong was the question, uh, he thought for to drink out the game. Uh, but Daniel O'Connell, that caught him. Oh, I think there's some Terry he came. Uh, oh, I said, Dan, I was born. And carry, uh, the place where the day can be seen, quite close to the edge of the water, uh, or oh, convenient to care, uh, Sure, I am no spire and farmer, uh, but the harp and the shamrock my crown. Uh, but remember, you have met a wrong hero, says the young youth who stayed from his town. Oh. 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 We were, we were talking earlier there, Gabriel, about the, about the travelling people. The, would you say they've made a, a, the, the contribution they've actually made to the music? Has it been significant? Totally. Uh, if you think of, you know, in, in the, the national context, people like Johnny Doherty, people like uh, Willie or Felix Dorn and Johnny Dorn, and uh, I suppose younger pipers as well. Um, but in, in the local scene, uh, Con learned a lot of his songs from travellers and is quite friendly to this day with, with travellers. Um, Jack Faulkner, for instance, uh, a traveller who lived uh, in West Limerick for the best part of his life, gave Con a number of songs. Um, you know, the kind of, 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 of traveller that, uh, that sings and plays. You yourself, being a Donegal man, would have a lot of Johnny Doherty's, the Donegal Tinker's music. Any chance you would take up the fiddle and give us a blast of Johnny Doherty? Well, I'll do my best, but uh, the first, thing, first things first. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm not from Donegal, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> well, but I have, a lot, I have a lot of Donegal connections, in fairness, and all my Donegal. people belong to me are from Donegal. Yeah. Uh, you're, but you're, you're a good player, though. You're married, of course. I am. I thought that much, too. Did you reckon? Oh, uh, all players get married very young. Do they? Uh, they do. Would yeah. you reckon I was got young? Well, I, I don't know, of course. Uh, I, I, but, uh, and a good looking man too. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, listen, I, I'll play you two reels, okay? Sure. Yeah, and uh, there are two tunes I got from, uh, yeah. from the playing of, of, of John Doherty. The first one, we were talking about the different travelling people. Uh, and uh, I think a tune that's synonymous with travelling musicians is Rakish Paddy, which was made famous, I suppose, by the late Johnny Dorden. But this is a version of it which I got from John Doherty. It's quite a different version. And the second one is a tune, like many of the other tune I learned from John Doherty, I have no name for. So we'll just call it John Doherty's Reel. So.
Was that do you? Oh, that's grand music. I told you, shouldn't you forever? Fair play to you. Thanks, Carl. Forever. Good man. Gabriel, uh, you're a poet of some renown in this country. What is the correlation between poetry and singing, do you think? Is there, are the two traditions, like, they seem to have been kept quite separate. They're one and the same. Uh, I, I have strong beliefs that the song tradition and the, the oral song tradition, the oral poetry tradition are one and the same anyway. That's beyond dispute. I think that the best poetry has a musical quotient a musical uh, dimension to it uh, that, that is totally of a piece with singers. Um, I, I simply believe that poetry is music and music is poetry. The best song has dimensions of poetry in it. The best poetry has dimensions of song in it. Uh, children hear the music of poetry, the music of words, the poetry of words before they learn the actual meaning of words. If we divorce that from our experience, we're taking away our heart and our soul. And poetry or music that has no soul and no heart is worthless. That's what I feel. Well, you have some poems you'd like to read for us tonight. Yeah, I, I'd like to read a poem for Con first, if I may. Uh, I've written a lot lately about singers and singing. And this one is called His Own Noise. It's a poem about Con Graney and people like him who kept various people like myself alive over many generations. His Own Noise, homage to Con Graney, singer. This is the age of saccharin, black currant in the pint, the age of the instant packaged like an essence where the joint was roasted once with relish. Attention is being killed by 10 per second images where once the field was tilled with patience of the husbandman, talk is of machines. They've entered our vocabulary, every school kid's dream. What enters our vocabulary defines and shapes our thought. When machines the greatest accolade, what soul cannot be bought? Give me one pure singer who'll sing his songs for all, a man poor in spirit who has heard the darkness call, who even from his haddies can sing of Easter's joys, a man who is like to God, making his own noise. I have known a few such men whose singing made a stand for friendship, fun, and freedom. Christ, but it was grand to hear their long camalias among people who had time to listen to their singers to revel in their rhyme. I salute those singers whose love of life I heard. They've entered my vocabulary, flesh becoming word. Well, I tell you, on this program over the last year or so, we've had some wonderful duos, but I think the pair of you make a very, very unique <laughs> duo together. And I think it's great to have had you here tonight. Thanks very much. Fair play to you. Uh, Con, before we go, will you give us a couple of verses of Francis Street? There you go. Good man. We'll see you again next week. Bye-bye. <coughs> oh, come on, you jolly sports, and no one listens to my song. For those words are short and comical, they won't continue long. I came home from sea the other day, and I got a late chance to meet, and she told me she would dance to me this night in Francis Street. When I found my love so civil, sure I said I'd hire a car. The children at the other side began to shout and bawl, and the women at the other side. In towns I heard them say, Oh, Johnny, you'll get your ducky duck duck before oh. you'll get away. <laughs> <laughs> Says I'm a pretty fair man, or oh, you might have a treat. Uh, you might have a glass of brandy and something nice to eat. And at four o'clock in the morning, I will meet you at the train and be sure you'll give a call when you're coming to town again. Uh, oh, the dark night was all over, and to bed we did prepare. Uh, I fell asleep, or oh, the truth I will declare. Oh, my watch and chain and thirty pounds. Uh, my clothes and all she fled, and she left me here for Sailor Jack. Slip naked in the bed. Uh. <coughs> when I awoke uh, next morning, oh, nothing could I espy. Uh. A large shift in the apron that was hanging out to dry. Oh, I wrung my hands and tore my hair. Pray the last, but will I do? Oh, may the Lord be with your child at home. Will I ever again see you? I wore on the shift in the apron and I marched down to the keel. The sailors there laughed at me and the captain he did say, 
fat and Johnny, you got your ducky duck duck before you got well. And all the newest thing fashions that had lately come over shore. Where is the shop that says them here, or is the Ronnie Moore? Or says Paddy, didn't he, Jack? I tell you for home with bound, you could have got a better suit than that for thirty pound. I might have got a better suit if I only got a chance. I met a girl in France and said she asked me how to dance, and I danced my own destruction. Whilst I was in the free, but I'll take my heart, I'll go no more to a dance in France Street. Oh, all you mean, and the world will take from me. Whenever you'll see a nice young girl, be sure don't make you free. Oh, for if you do, you'll surely rule. You'll be on your way with a lodging ship today, from that will march you to the gate. <laughs> This is the clean, crisp taste of Beechwood-aged Budweiser in a tall, long-necked bottle. Some bottle, some neck. Budweiser. The best reason in the world to drink beer from a bottle. Come on, Colin, we've all had ours. Oh, don't worry about me, love. I've packed some Sarnies. Sarnies? Uh, Colin! Colin! <laughs> It's typical when I've lovingly prepared a delicious chicken casserole. Mm. Well, we can't waste it, can we, George? Oh, you took the words right out of my mouth. So, gluck, 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 it's chicky, chicky time, chicky, chicky time. Mmm, George. Greedy old traditional chicken casserole mix by George It's Coleman's. <laughs> Spring is always in the air with new haze for Manda. Who's watching your house tonight? Certainly they are. Now we are too. Telecom Phone Watch. Phone Watch is new. A monitored security system monitored by us. Home protection. Protection from fire. Personal protection. If ever you need help, we know and we act immediately. Telecom Phone Watch. Free phone 1 800 500 900 now for information and quotation. such a simple problem. We're surprised we didn't come up with a solution sooner. Lion's Round Tea Bags. Round for consistent flavor, a finer taste, a better brew. And now all Lion's Blends are available in round tea bags, which should keep everybody happy. Lion's Round Tea Bags. All blends, all better, all round. While the Sloanes worry about union matters, Anna Metcalf agonises about her attraction to the root of the problem. It's all happening on the home front at 9.30. But now on one, a pack of gun-running outlaws give the young riders a run for their money. <laughs> 